In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you create a membership site with Teachable. I'm also going to show you how you can integrate Teachable with Thrivecart to make it even more epic. And you could do things like this, where you can put any button or create an opt-in form for your Teachable membership site or Teachable course on your own website. So when people go to Video School Online, which, hey, I'm wearing my new hat, I think it's pretty cool, I don't know, kind of cool anyways. Um, but anyways, if you go to Video School Online now, after I've done some updates, and you click this free trial button, you get a pop-up and you can get access to a seven-day free trial that automatically enrolls you into a, my monthly membership site, which has increased my conversions and opt-ins over the past couple weeks since I've been using it. You can't do this right with Teachable, but I'll show you how to do both. So let's dive into our Teachable page. And so this is actually from a question from Joe Paris. What's up, Joe? I know Scott Duffy also wanted to learn more about this. So what's up, Scott? I'm making this tutorial for you guys, but I hope this helps other people as well. Here's the sales page for my membership site, which is basically in Teachable, a course bundle where I put all of my courses or specific courses that I want into one sort of bundle that people pay for and you can charge either a monthly fee a yearly fee or a one-time fee or a payment plan but the idea of a membership site is to have recurring revenue so this is just the sales page i've put together here you can see the different options i charge nine dollars a month for monthly access to my courses 97 dollars per year or lifetime access for 197. so this is just the standard sales page i've edited it customized it a little bit so let's dive into the back end of Teachable. Here we are on my dashboard. You can see that revenue a little bit down compared to last month, but I do have uh, it's a couple more days and I know a lot of people sign up for my membership site at the end of the month, which is really cool to know now and to expect that income every month. That's the beauty of a membership site. And you can use Teachable to create a membership site that doesn't necessarily just have to be courses. You can put all kinds of content on a Teachable course and put it behind the paywall of your membership site or your membership course. You could add custom documents, downloads. You could even just have links to other content out there, eBooks or you know live webinars or anything that you just put behind your membership bundle or your course. So how do you actually create this membership course or bundle. And you can see here that I have 167 people enrolled in this membership site or this course bundle. And I made over $5,000 since I added this. This has been a few months going, so probably four or five months since I started this membership site. And this includes people who are paying $9 a month or people who have bought the yearly or the lifetime plan, which people have actually purchased. So when you the first thing you have to do is put all of your individual courses on Teachable. So upload, just like normal, all of your individual courses, then create a new course. And then what you're going to do is add any course you want in that membership site to this course. So you would fill out all the information like normal, and then go here on the left where it says bundle contents. And this is where you can see all of the content that's within the membership site. One thing that I hope Teachable does in the future is allow us to organize the order of the courses in your bundle. They don't do that yet. And so it can be a little bit confusing for people to find the course that they're interested in if you have a lot. And I'll give you a tip for how you can do that. But basically, you just go to bundle contents, click this add a course to this bundle button, and then select the courses that you want to include. So here are some free courses that I'm, I don't have in this bundle because they're you know, a shorter version of a full course or, or not as good as the full course. And so it would be confusing to have those within the bundle. So I just have the full course in there. So basically just go to bundle, add all the courses there. So now whoever accesses or purchases this course has access to all of those courses. How do you make it a recurring revenue sort of membership? Go to pricing and then you create a pricing plan for monthly or yearly. Ideally, you want monthly, right? So you click new pricing, subscription, and then you enter the amount for how much you want per month. So I'm gonna do nine. And then you can choose if you want it to be month or per year. 
and you can actually have multiple pricing plans and that's what I've done and then just click add pricing give it a name subtitle for you for to make it more clear and so that gives you this month monthly option for people to sign up for this course now how do you get people or how do you help people understand what courses to take well if you go actually to my course this membership course what you'll see when you log in is these learning paths and these are just documents or text-based lessons that i've added to the actual membership course to get access to the bundled courses just click this included courses button down here and this is where all of your other courses that you've added to this membership site are i hope you're following along i know it's a little confusing but back in your main, let's go back to the main um, curriculum. So this is like a course, you can actually add lectures to the membership course itself. And I found this is good because otherwise, um, there's nothing for them to do when they log in, they have to figure out to, that they have to click on included courses to go to the courses. So what I've done is added an orientation that welcomes them, and then these different learning paths for people who want to go down a specific path of learning skills and I give them the courses that I think they should take in the order that I think they should take them. And that's just in the curriculum of this membership class. Okay, so I hope that's making sense. So now we have our course bundle created. We have the monthly pricing plans set. You can add your yearly plan too. How do you give someone a, an incentive to enroll? Well, doing a free trial is a good option or a discounted trial period. And you can do that with coupon codes. So if you go to coupons and then you add a new coupon, you wanna do it to this course only unless you wanna do it for all of your courses. And then say you wanna do a free trial. Well, what you can do is choose to have a percentage discount of 100%. You can have it off the monthly access plan. So this is your regular membership plan. And then you choose what you want to apply it to. If you choose all payments, it means they're gonna get it for free forever. So what you'll wanna do is to change this to the first payment. So this means that for the first 30 days or for the first month rather, it's free. So they don't have to pay. And then after that, they start getting charged. And that's the option that within Teachable we have right now. You can only do a free trial or a discounted trial with the coupons for the first period. They don't give you the option of doing a seven day free trial or 14 day free trial. That's why I'm using Thrivecart. Now I hope Teachable and I, I'm guessing they might add this as a feature in the future. It seems obvious that they would, but who knows for the time being, Thrivecart's the way to do that. Or if you don't wanna do you know, a free first month, what you can do is a just discounted by, you know, maybe you want a $1 free trial or not $1 free trial, a $1 trial. So I would choose dollar amount and then $8 off the monthly access plan for the first month. And so that would mean that it would only be $1 because nine minus eight, right? And so this would be $1 for 30, the first month, and then it would kick in at $9 after that. So you're a little bit limited in Teachable with how you can discount and how you can kind of do the trials, which is really a good incentive for people to sign up. The other thing is that the way people sign up is you have to direct them to the sales page itself. So this is the homepage of Video School Online. This is the sales page, which for many people might not be a problem, especially if you're just using Teachable as your main site. But for me, I had my main site, Video School Online, and about a month ago, I was promoting the my membership bundle for $1 for the first month, and it had a big button on the home page, but you would click the button, and then it would take you to the Teachable sales page. And then, if you wanted to click Enroll, you'd have to click this Enroll button, it would scroll you down, and then you would have to make sure that you choose the right plan, and then you would have to click Enroll in Course, and then you would have to put in your information. So it's a lot of steps, and I'm, I've already purchased, so that's why it just took me to the access, but there's a lot of steps and that can be a barrier to getting people to sign up. And that's why now, which is so awesome on Video School Online, if you click the claim your free trial button, it's a quick little pop-up, you plug in your information 
and it's all integrated so people can purchase here and then they get access to your course for really however long you want. I set it to be a seven day trial, but you could change that. And I've been adding these sort of buttons and these opt-ins throughout my site on the bottom of a lot of my pages. I have this big banner, become a member today. Um, and so just trying to incentivize people to join the free trial. So we're gonna jump over to Thrivecart, which is a separate plugin. It costed um, about $600. So it's gonna take a little while for it to, for me to recoup my, the, my um, investment in the tool, but I've already seen an uptick in the amount of people actually signing up for my course or for my membership trial. I've been th doing this for a couple months or a couple weeks, sorry, and let's see if we can get some stats. So I'm not gonna do a whole sort of tutorial for Thrivecart, I can do that in another video, but let me just show you basically what it does. So here I have my products that I have created through Thrivecart. You can, since it integrates with Teachable, you can basically do this for any individual course. So it doesn't have to be the membership course or bundle with Teachable, you can do it for an individual course, you could have the seven day trial, all of that kind of stuff. So here are the stats, let's go to all time. And so all time since, uh, this has been since, yeah, just about two weeks, um, over, let's see, 14 people have signed up, so about one per day. I've made $45 so far, so that is going to start increasing as people's seven day trials are ending. One person's refunded. And I have found, to be honest, that I'm getting more people who ha who like they're canceling their membership before they start the nine dollar a month package than before, but I'm getting a lot more people signing up. So overall revenues increasing through this free trial versus before, but there are a few more uh, it's a little bit higher percentage of people who are canceling, but that's fine. that's fine and um, I'd rather have more people signing up and sticking on. And um, now I still have their email address. That's the cool thing too, is this is a great way to build your email list because with the free trial, there's a lower barrier to entry. So here you can see more information. And the cool thing about um, Thrivecart is it gives you a lot more information from your sales. You can figure out your customer lifetime value. You can create your, you know, see your retention rate, your turn or your churn rate, your conversion rate, all kinds of cool stuff. So let me show you this product. So basically you add your product. I'll just go to edit to show you. And um, you just name it, you choose the URL for what people are, are going to. I forget exactly what that was actually. Um, but let me go to fulfillment. So this is how it integrates with Teachable. So you have to go through the integration process, but here you can choose any of the courses that I have. I've chosen the monthly access plan, but you could do any of your courses and it's all right within here. And so the payment, so let's, I'll show you this. So it's a subscription. So today's price is zero. So that's, they're getting the free trial. The billing frequency is monthly. So you kind of have to redo what you done in Teachable because you could do it completely separately. You could have a, you know, your Teachable price set and on Thrivecart, you could have a whole different payment option. The subscription price is $9, which we did on Teachable as well. And then the trial period, you can choose any of these days, one, three, five, seven, 14, et cetera. And then you have the number of rebills. So it just keeps going unless you want it to end at a certain time. And then so once you've created that product, you can click get URL and then you can customize the URL. There's not, if I knew CSS better, I would dive into this and you can customize it yourself to choose a different button style, but they got different colors. You can add an image if you want that to be your button. And basically you just copy this code and you add it to your website and it puts in this button. And so that's how when you get to the home page, anyone clicks this, it pops up with this pop-up. Since I've implemented it, like I said, conversions or the amount of people signing up have, has, has increased and conversions has also increased. Um, so this is pretty much it. I know it's a lot. If you have questions, please let me know. 
Joe and Scott, I hope this helped you guys out for creating your Teachable monthly membership site or your membership bundle. And like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day and we'll see you in another video.